Hey, hey what's, what's up? up? We're, We're We The, the Kings, Kings, and you are watching Rockstar Stories. Cheer. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to the Rockstar Stories. My name is Zach and join with us is a band that's been on the show possibly more times than I can count on fingers and toes. We're like the house band. Indeed. For the TV show. Indeed. If, if you guys haven't figured it out yet, it's We The Kings. Hello. Hi. I'm, I'm Travis. Hi. I'm Hunter. Drew. Uh, I'm Danny. Hi. <laughs> you guys are on a tour right now with All Time Low. Yep, the Clamor Kills going? tour. Uh, we're about seven shows into it. I think every show has pretty much been sold out and it's been one of the more amazing tours that we've been on. So we're stoked that they brought us out. Now you guys, when you first appeared on the show, were, I want to say nobodies, it's kind of mean, but I'm going to go with it, nobodies. And now everybody out there, when you guys walk from your bus to in here, is screaming your name and, and going nuts. Like, how, like, how is that feeling? Like, you guys have, like, officially made it to star status. I think it was, we all kind of discussed this earlier, that it was probably rock star stories that made us oh, yeah. where we are today. <laughs> With all, all the interviews? Yes. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's cool. We're still the same kids that, um, you know, when we were the, when we did the, when we were nobodies. <laughs> um, now we just, more people know that we're nobodies, if that makes sense. Sort of. Um, but it's awesome. It's super flattering. We love it. You know, we obviously love the attention, but um, we're even more stoked that the kids actually like our songs. And, uh, and we have, like, a new record coming out on December 8th, so um, we're stoked that, you know that we get to put more material out for them, and and they're the reason that we were able to record another record because they, you know, loved us so much. So that's good because a lot of bands come out here and don't even get a chance to make a second album. No, that's very true. You know, of a lot of our friends, it's it's that case, and um, we're just so happy and, and lucky to be in, in this position. Now let's talk about the new album. What was uh, <laughs> some of the big inspiration for you guys? I think we wanted to do like. Um, a more dynamic record like our first one was very just like this is we the kings this is you know drew danny hunter travis playing their own instrument i almost forgot my name uh <laughs> the, you know the, the, we, we played four instruments on the record played it straight through you know everything was like really like fast and upbeat and we wanted this record to be a little more dynamic we wanted faster songs slower songs the middle songs and you know just like we wanted to put a lot more piano and and orchestral arrangements and trumpets and just kind of crazy stuff and just go like a little left of center for this record and uh i don't know it came out you know really amazing so far we've we've heard like six or seven of the mixes and um and we couldn't be more happy we we just we wanted to write with the same spirit of every just happy uplifting music but uh with a little more dynamics now looking forward for like the next six months what are you guys like really excited about besides the record coming out um <laughs> New Year's. <laughs> are there any good movies coming out? Is, are, you, are you talking like, about like, like band, band wise? <laughs> like if I, if I would have counted with the record, then everyone would say the same thing. Oh, we're excited for the record coming out. But besides besides the record coming out in a couple of months, there's like, like a new marshmallow that's coming out. I'm pretty excited <laughs> about. Um, I don't know. We're we're going on a, a pretty big tour overseas with a band called Yumi at Six, um, who's actually playing down the street tonight, and uh, and they're huge in in England and Scotland and Wales. And they're taking us with them. So uh, that happens in March. We're also doing uh, the Take Action Tour uh, this winter. And we get it's really cool for us because we, we like to do as much charity work as we can. And this whole tour is uh, you give 10% of like the, all the proceeds go to like a, a charity of your choice. Oh, nice. So we got to pick like uh, a couple different charities to choose from. And, um, and it's going to be a, a fun tour. Very cool. <clears throat> now... Is there is there one song on the record that you guys recorded but never made it on the CD or any um, any future B-side tracks? Not really. I mean, we we tried to we had like 20 to 25 songs going into the recording process and then we picked 12 to record or no, we picked 11 to record. One ended up being an interlude, so it's kind of like 12 but it's 11. Uh, we picked like the 11 that we wanted to use for the record and just made sure that it was perfect. Like each each song has its purpose on the record. And um and so we don't really have B-sides or anything. We just wanted to put all the material out there at the same time. We did a bunch of acoustic tracks and, and remixes and stuff like that. But um, outside of all that stuff, it's, it's just we focused on the 11 that we put on. Nice, nice. Now, where do you guys see uh, the music industry? Because it's changing a lot within the last couple of years. Where do you see it in the future? Like, where do you see, you know, We the Kings? Where do you see the whole music industry and everything? It's tough, man. I mean, I, 
we all know that the music industry is kind of like going downhill. Like there's, you know, tons of people making music and the creativity is still there, but, um, you know, the politics and like the industry side of it is just really like a, a downward spiral. So, <clears throat> you know, we, we try our best to actually just stay completely out of that and just, you know, let it do what it's going to do. We're just going to continue writing music and playing, even if there's only, you know, three people that want to hear it, we'll just continue making records and, um, and, you know, doing it our own way. And if the music industry, dies you know we'll still be alive you know we'll still be a band playing music whether it's in our garage or in a stage in front of thousands of kids and if the music industry succeeds we'll still you know be able to play the same music so it doesn't really affect us too much other than you know like actually what's in our pockets or whatever which we're not really concerned about anyways nice. well that's always a good thing yeah i just want to say you're doing a really good job on this interview i'm rooting for you <laughs> Now, do you guys have any uh, funny stories that happened to you like while recording, like during the downtime? Drew's got some crazy stories. <laughs> yeah, that's as crazy as it gets right there. I mean, there's nothing more crazy than silence, right? <laughs> we uh, we actually just made a video, kind of a, the behind the scenes footage. <clears throat> we actually just released a video here. Um, it was some behind the scenes footage of the <laughs> studio time that uh, we had in LA recently um, for our new record, Smile Kid, which drops on December 8th. And um, there's a lot of cool footage there about you know us in the studio, how we uh, thanks dude, how we got to you know where each song, how each song developed, and how the songs are written. And uh, you know you can see that uh, pretty soon here. Thank you. <laughs> We actually did one thing where we tried to record some of the vocals uh, shirtless yeah? to, to make it more sexy. How'd it go for you? Danny thought it was much sexier. Um, everybody else kind of... This looks great without a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, when you guys were, were writing for the record, did you do a lot of writing on the road, or did you have time to go home and write? Um, we mainly did it just like right after the first record... Uh, dropped it was october 2nd of 2007 we kind of just kept writing and uh, it didn't really stop so we did um i don't know like what the like past year and a half has been non-stop writing for this record nice so it's it's cool like because it plays off the like you know i wanted it to be a more dynamic record and and so it, it actually is because we've grown a lot in the past year and a half as a as a band and as friends now looking back on everything you guys have opportunities to do and have done what would you say has been uh, like your favorite thing so far like favorite opportunity, like recording for a soundtrack or playing at a special show. Or we got to go to Guam. Yeah, that was um, awesome. It was like a twenty-three hour flight, like to, uh, twelve to Hawaii or something like that, and then thirteen or that doesn't add up. Eleven. <laughs> Anyways, he wasn't good at math. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, well, whatever. Twenty-three hours is split into two. Uh, we we did that. We flew over to Guam and we got to play one show and the kids there are absolutely incredible. We, we showed up, we got off the plane and it was like we were the biggest celebrities that have ever walked on that island. Like there was transport cars, there was, uh, we walk into the hotel and they have like, you know, welcome we the kings and people are get, standing there with lays and clapping and they gave us all our separate rooms. It was, it was amazing. It was right there on beach side. It was absolutely, it's the most gorgeous place that I think we've ever been. I agree. I, I agree as well. They agree. Now, this is probably an extremely cliche question, but how did you come up with the name for the record? We um, were Beach Boys, um, as it is. We were all born in Bradenton, Florida, except Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that microphone real quick, son. I'm going to school you real quick. See, uh, I was born on an Air Force base in California where my family actually resided in Bradenton, Florida. So, uh, you know, my, my father was serving this great country we called the United States of America. And uh, that's why I was Were born, you born in California. In a jet plane? Sorry, what? Were you born in Actually, I was born in a hospital, like the rest of us. And, uh, you know, what, very, very soon I moved back to Florida, and that's where, uh, that's where the magic happened with all of us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So anyways, so we're all beach kids, and uh, Beach Boys has, you know, an, a pretty infamous record called Smile, and so we wanted to kind of like give like a nod to that as well as just uh, throwing in the kid, because we think that people should just be happier. Um, like, it's obviously that there's, like, or it's obvious that there's bad stuff happening all around us, and it's just cool to look at the good things and smile. Smile, kid. Always, always a good reason. Thank you. Now, before we Thank go, you, Andy, give uh, out any plugs you guys have, any Twitters, Facebook, MySpaces, websites... 
album date, all that fun stuff. What, you want us to release your Twitter name? No. <laughs> <laughs> we have a friend who, uh, <clears throat> who wanted to come on tour, and every tour that we've ever been on, he just... He doesn't pull through. He doesn't go the he doesn't go the distance. He doesn't go the extra mile. He doesn't really do anything. Uh, but for some reason, we all still love him, and he's still our best friend. He's given us every reason to drop him as a friend, and we still like him. And his name is his name on Twitter is at WP Doherty. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. His his Twitter name is at Vinsky941, V I N S K I 941. He posts a lot of random stuff. But yeah, we all have Twitters. We, we're on MySpace. Uh, it's just We the Kings. We have a peer volume. We have Facebook. We have all the outlets. We're like an internet band. Yeah. You know, we're in that generation. So. so just like Google We the Kings. Google. There's images on us, you know, on, on Google that, that people can steal, print out, make their own posters. Thanks. <laughs> um, wait, was that the question? Did, yeah. I, did yeah. I answer it? You got it. Vinsky, is that cool? Did, did we get out your stuff? Okay. Cool, bro. It'd be nice to see you on a full tour. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for talking to us. Thank you very you much. You guys have a great time on the all-time low tour. Thank you so much.